Hi everyone, this is Taylor from Crosswind Concepts with this week's iPad Takes Flight Proficiency Tip of the Week. It's said that flight planning begins when you decide to make the trip. This could be in an hour, a day, a week, or several weeks away. Today I'm planning a flight to take a friend to Omaha to watch the University of Denver play Nebraska-Omaha in college hockey. We plan to leave today around 2 p.m. and fly from Rocky Mountain Metro Airport near Denver to Millard near Omaha. I'm going to use ForeFlight today to flight plan this. So I'll start out using the Navlog function with uh, for flight and I'll tap in to create uh, the flight and I'll start with KBJC and we're going to go to Millard which is KMLE. So I'll type those in and now I've got my point to point route but I am decided that I want to use uh, airway routing so I'm going to go ahead and tap on this routes button and select the top one which is uh, airway routing. Now this is pretty neat, but we're going to go ahead and be uh, trying to leave at about 2 o'clock today. So I'm going to tap on the estimated departure time and make it 2 o'clock. And once I do that, I find that, wow, we're going to have a great flight out there because our winds aloft includes a 19-knot tailwind. Now that's neat. But it might be that I'm curious to know or need to know what the flight time would be without consideration of winds. Now, how might I be able to go about doing that? Well, all you need to do is set something in your flight plan outside the realm of the winds aloft forecast. So one of the things that I could do is I could come over here to the altitude advisor and just simply type in 60,000 feet here. So I'm going to do that and, uh, and then tap close. And you'll notice that the winds aloft is not included anymore in the calculation for the in route time or the fuel burn. So that's one way you can do it. Another way might be if I reset this back down and I'll use the altitude advisor to set a VFR flight level. Oh, let's go ahead and take that 11,500 for a nice 19 knot tailwind. I'll close that. Now my winds aloft are included again. Now another way I might be able to not have them included is to simply take the estimated departure time and set that outside of the time for winds aloft forecast and once I've done that now you can see winds aloft not included too far into the future. Thanks for watching our proficiency tip of the week from Crosswind Concepts. For more information please give us a shout at www.crosswindconceptsltd.com